Hey, what's going on guys? This is Paul, AKA Modern Reefer. And uh, in this video, I'm just uh, showing you my uh, Red Sea Reefer 625, which came in a crate. And I picked this up from the local fish store during their Christmas sale. Anyhow, uh, this video is gonna be on the assembly uh, or, the, or it's gonna show a time lapse of the cabinet being built up. So enjoy guys. <laughs>
Alright guys, here is my Red Sea Reefer 625 XXL and this is the location where I want to put this tank. If you guys been following my channel, you know that I've had this tank since December of last year, 2018 and it's just been sitting since because I was in the transition, uh, I was in the position to move and I did not want to have to reset up this tank, you know, break it down, set it, reset it up to the uh, when I moved to the new location so I just left it the way it was and worked on the quarantine tank. Anyhow this tank is I think it's going to sit at, at this spot right here um, but before I can set it up there's a few things that need to take place. So I have this outlet right here and what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to put one behind this fish tank here and I've already got the parts I just have to open this up turn off the power and then run the wires through. At the same time, I'm probably gonna run one behind that on the outside here so I can put a changing station out here, a water changing station that is. So that still needs to take place before I can bring the fish tank in and start setting things up here. Um, but my sump, you know, I have everything in here just sitting, just waiting. I have my Apex, I have a few pumps. I also, I've got the XF350s coming, the new ones. Uh, I got just some, you know, some of my stuff here. Just sitting and waiting. I got the NIOS 220, and then also the the new Vectra L2 pump, which they changed the box on this a little bit in the way it opens. The flap is now down here, I think. So a little bit different, but we can do a video on that. It looks like the, there's some subtle changes to the motor. Not much from the L1, but I think um, they've improved the longevity of the motor, which is great. All right, so this is where it stands today. And I'll give you another update as we get closer to setting up this Red Sea Reefer 625. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. And like always, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.